What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a yoga flow. We're gonna go ahead and start off just coming into a child's pose. If you wanna to come to the back of your mat, that's gonna be a good spot for you to start. Just bring the big toes together, open your knees out nice and wide, and start to press your hips back towards your heels. Reach the arms nice and long in front of you. Lowering your forehead down towards the mat, we'll start to sink the chest down towards the mat. And we'll take a couple deep breaths here just to release any tension that we may be feeling, release any expectations that we may have for ourselves and for this class. Just let it all go. Let the chips fall where they may. Take a couple of moments here just to Notice how things feel in your body. Notice maybe any areas of tightness. And send a little bit of extra energy, extra love into those tight spots. On your next inhale, we'll walk both of our hands over to the right side of our mat. We'll open up into our left side, reaching equally back through our hips. We'll inhale right here. And then we'll exhale, walk back through center and then all the way over to the left, opening up in the right side of our body. Again, reaching back into the hips, finding space, finding length. We'll take an inhale right here. And then you can exhale, walk your hands back to center. We'll really gently pull ourselves up into a tabletop position. You can readjust the knees if you need to. For me, I always find they're a little bit too far out once I get into my tabletop. We're just gonna gently walk, rock the hips from side to side. Once you're ready right here, we'll come back into our neutral tabletop. We'll take an inhale to dip the belly down, open up through the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. We'll exhale, press into the palms of the hands, curve the spine up, press the mat away. Two more like that. We'll inhale, dip the belly down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. We'll exhale, press into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, look back to the tops of your legs. And one more time, we'll dip everything down, drawing the shoulder blades together, opening up through the front of our body, opening our chest, our heart. Letting our belly just kind of drop down to the mat. And we'll take that big exhale, pressing into the heels of the hands, curving the spine up, looking back to the tops of the legs. Think about drawing the shoulder blades apart on your back so you find a lot of space right there. Good. Once you're ready, reset into that neutral tabletop position. We'll hold shoulders over wrists right there. I want you to lift the right foot so it comes up off of the mat. We're just going to take that right foot. You'll bring it over towards your left calf. Maybe you can tap down. 
Okay, well exhale, take that right foot back up, open it out towards the right corner of your mat. Getting a little bit of internal rotation at the hip. We'll do a couple more like that. Good, let's do one more. And then when you're ready, that right leg can come all the way down. We'll do the same thing on the left side, lifting that left foot off of the mat. You'll inhale, draw a little rainbow up and over. Maybe you can tap down to the right calf. We'll draw that same little arc up and over, taking the left leg out to the left corner of the mat. You'll feel a little bit of internal rotation right there. Well, you know, you're getting a little bit of internal rotation right there. You may feel some things going on through the either, through either the inside of your hip or the outside of your hip. Can you tell I really need this yoga class? My words are not, they're just not there today. That's okay. Let's just do two more. Good. And then with that last one, we'll take the left leg back down to our mat. We'll take an inhale to step the right foot forward so we find ourselves in a nice low lunge. Now, if you need to walk your legs out a little bit further than where they're at right now, go ahead, walk them out. We just want to feel a big opening up of that left hip flexor, find all that glorious space. And then when you're ready, we'll just start to press our hips back, straighten out through the right leg, finding our half split. Now I'm going to give you permission and the freedom to move however you want. If you're ready, we'll start to just move between our low lunge and our half split, pausing where we need to. I find these two, they're a little bit intense for me, so I need the transition in between so I can really get the most out of both of these stretches. But if you find maybe you like the half split a little bit better, stay there longer. If you like the low lunge better, you stay there longer. When you're ready, you take this in your own time. We'll just reset into our low lunge. We'll bring both of our arms to the inside of that right leg. You can turn the right toes out a little bit. We'll just hold right here, a different way to open up through the hip. Maybe you feel some stuff going on in that right side. If you don't, that's okay too. We'll take a big inhale right here. You can exhale, let it go. Maybe you open your mouth, sigh it out. 
And from here, we'll just kind of press away a little bit so we can move our right foot around. Your hands come back down to your mat. We're just gonna slide that right foot behind the left hand, right knee behind the right, right knee behind the right hand. We'll straighten out through the left leg and you'll start to lower yourself down to take pigeon pose. Now you take this however you need to. Forearms can stay down on the mat. If your body's gonna let you do it today, you can come all the way down onto your mat, laying down onto your forearms. If you have a block or a bolster, a pillow, anything that you wanna prop yourself up onto, I would go ahead and do that. We'll take one more deep breath right here. And then once you're ready, if you're down on your forearms or down on your mat, you're just gonna press yourself up super gently. I like to tuck my left toes under right here so I can lift up through the hips. Oh, this is not gonna be super sweet. So if you need to wiggle around a little bit, go ahead and wiggle around. We'll lift the hips. We're gonna slide the right leg back and then just drop your knees down so you come back into your tabletop. From right here, just take a moment to rock your hips from side to side. And notice any differences between right and left. And then when you're ready, we'll take that left foot. You'll step it forward so it comes between your hands. It doesn't have to be graceful, right? It's yoga. It's just yoga. If you need to open your legs up a little bit wider, go ahead and open them up. Go ahead and don't mind me. I just have to check the time to make sure that we're staying on track here. <sighs> Take a couple deep breaths right here. Noticing those areas that feel a little bit tight. Send some extra love, some extra kindness into those spots. And once you're ready, we'll start to press the hips back, extending through the left leg, finding our half split. When you're ready, you can just start to flow between your half split and your low lunge, taking those movements however you need to, pausing at any point that you need to. Noticing those areas that feel a little bit tight and maybe noticing the areas on this side that feel different and we don't want to be judgmental about those differences right that's not the reason that we notice things going on in our body we want to notice those differences and take them in as information use that information to um, better help us not only in our yoga practice but also in our daily life Right? It's important to know what's different about your body as opposed to, you know, somebody else's body even. Each day, you want to get to know your body a little bit better. Just so that you can live in the best way that's going to support you and, and your body's needs. All right, 
You're doing good. When you're ready, we're just gonna reset into that low lunge. We'll walk both of our hands to the inside of the left leg, opening up a little bit through that left foot. So toe out, heel in, just so we get some external rotation at the hip. Now, if that doesn't feel good for you, you come back to how we had our foot before. Sometimes just, sometimes opening up the hip is just what we need to get a little deeper into the stretch. But for some of us, our hips don't like that so much. We'll take a deep breath right here. And then you can walk your left hand back out um, to frame your left leg. Slowly and carefully, we'll make our way into pigeon pose. So however you wanna get there, I kinda need to move my left foot back a little bit. We'll bend the left knee. You're gonna slide that left foot behind the right hand, left knees behind the left. We can move the, um, sorry, the right leg back a little bit. And then you can stay right here, right? This is the pose. So if this is enough for you, if you feel good right here, you stay right here. If you wanna come down a little bit further, you can come down onto your forearms. Maybe you make a little pillow for your head with your hands and you just rest down onto your hands. Take another deep breath right here. Exhale, let it all go. And we'll start to press ourselves up off of our mat if you were down at all. We're gonna tuck the right toes under so that we lift up through the hips, kind of tent the hips. That's a good way to think of it. And then step your left foot back. Knees come down to your mat. And again, just like we did on the first side, we're just gonna drop our hips from side to side. Again, noticing any differences you feel from side to side. Good. And then once you're ready from right here, we're gonna swing the legs out to the side so we can come back onto our booty. We'll come, well, it doesn't really matter. You can come into the center of your mat. You can also stay back if you would like to. Now I'm gonna turn out to you. I want you to take your right leg out to the corner of your mat. Take your left foot to the inside of your right leg. You're gonna square your body off to your bent knee and then take your right arm. You slide your right arm to the inside of your right leg and we'll reach our left arm up and over. So we open up into the left side of our body. <sighs> Now, if you want to point your gaze upwards towards your left arm, you can go ahead and do that. If this feels a little bit intense, you're just going to go right into that forward fold over your right leg, rotating the shoulders down. You can take your hands to either side of your leg and just fold forward. We'll take a deep breath right here. 
And then once you're ready, you start to press yourself up so you come back up into a seated position. We'll just swap out the legs. Left leg is going to go out, right leg pulls into the inside of your left leg. We'll twist our body over to our bent knee, reach that left hand to the inside of your left leg, and then your right arm goes up and over. If you'd like to look up to your right arm, you can. If this is a little bit intense, you just come right down into that forward fold because we're gonna head there anyway. When you're ready, just rotating the shoulders down towards your mat, framing your leg with both hands, and then just pressing your chest down towards your leg, taking those nice deep breaths. Good, we'll take a deep breath right here. And then when you're ready, start to press yourself up so you come back up to seated. From right here, we're gonna take the legs so they go all the way out in front of us and you'll lay yourself down onto your mat. Once you get all the way down there and you get yourself situated, I just want you to bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees open out towards the sides of the room. Now, if you have blocks, I want you to grab onto your blocks. I probably should have told you to do that before we got down here. I'm going to grab onto my blocks. That's how I like to take goddess pose because, boy, is it a lot on the hips. So, reset. Bring yourself all the way down. Soles of the feet are going to come together. We'll open the knees out nice and wide. You'll slide your blocks just so they come right underneath the knees. We have a little bit of support so we're not pulling on the hip, right, to open up. It should feel a little bit nicer, hopefully. But if you don't like it, you take the blocks out. Hands can come to your low belly, or you can do one on your low belly, one on your heart, so you can feel the rise and fall of your breath. And right here is where we're gonna take our final resting pose. So we'll hang out here for a little bit.
want you to start to come back into your body. Hopefully you're still there. Just starting to notice how things feel. Taking in the rise and fall of your breath. Noticing the pace. Has it slowed down? Can you feel how your shoulders have dropped away from your ears? How that tension has released from your body and from your mind? Slowly, let's open the eyes really carefully. Look up to the ceiling. Take in the color of the walls around you. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Smelling the air that's surrounding you. And then take a big exhale, open the mouth, let it all go. Good, let's do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose. We'll open the mouth, exhale, let it out. Good, with that final breath, let's bring the knees in. So you're gonna take one knee in at a time so we can plant the feet down onto the mat. We can move the blocks out of the way just so it makes it a little bit easier for us to move. You'll roll yourself onto your left hip and then just come onto your side. Like you're in a little fetal position, like you're about to go to sleep, right? Like you're a little baby in a fetal position. When you're ready, we'll take that right hand right in front of us. You shoot the right leg out on top really gently. You'll press yourselves up. Good. From here, just bring yourself into a seated position on your mat. You can sit cross-legged if that's comfortable for you. We'll take the hands right to the tops of the legs. Take one big inhale all together, maybe lifting the shoulders towards the ears. Letting that inhale just renew your body. Fill you with joy, with happiness, with any feelings that you were feeling in this moment. We'll exhale, open the mouth, let it all go. Drop the shoulders down and back. Good. You guys did so great today. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. Remember, you are awesome. You can do absolutely anything that you put your mind to. And I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist you. You got me drunk in love, drunk